Hi everybody, Dave Sullivan here for The Credit Guy TV. HUD made some recent updates to their uh, underwriting guidelines that are going to have a major impact on credit scores and people's ability to get a loan. So it's more important than ever than you, that the borrower really become involved in this process. And one of the things that they've changed effective April 1st, 2012, uh, going forward, um, every collection that you have so if you have a, a group of collections, medical or not, you are now going to have to pay those off if they're more than $1,000. So if you have collections on your account, no matter how old they are, um, and they total over $1,000, you've got to pay those off. There's going to be a big problem with that, though. If you've got collections on there from a few years ago that you haven't paid, you're now going to have to pay those off and then you are going to now make that collection far more relevant to your FICO scoring model. So you're going to have people apply for a loan and their scores are going to be fine. As part of the new HUD underwriting guidelines, they're going to have to pay off some of those, um, those collections, thereby bringing those collections more relevant to the FICO scoring model because it's more recent and then tanking the score. So what I would tell you is it's more important than ever to handle these collections, collections properly. So watch this video right here about how to handle collections. And I would tell you not to pay any of the collections unless they agree to completely remove it from your report. And it's not just enough for them to tell you to remove it. You've got to get something in writing from them that says that they have reported an error on company letterhead signed by somebody at the company. Um, another thing is disputed accounts. Now in the past, if anything was under dispute, in order for you to close it, you were required to resolve that dispute. And disputes can stay on there for quite a long time. Um, they are, are not going to make you clear those old disputes anymore. If they're two years or more old, or two years or older, um, you are not going to have to uh, clear those disputes anymore. So what would I tell you if you were a borrower? I would say you now more than ever, if you're thinking about getting a credit, uh, a mortgage, go out to annualcreditreport.com and pull your credit report and then add up all your collections to find out if you're over a thousand. If you are over a thousand, I would look at the most recent collections that are on your report and then try to deal with those people first in order to get you underneath that threshold. If you're a lender, I would tell you to do this. As soon as you pull that report, um, you're going to have to be actively involved in coaching the borrowers on, on that specific portion of their credit report. Because if they just go out and start trying to correct things on their own, they're going to really screw their credit score up. So it's a big change coming, like I said, April 1st. Hopefully, uh, you guys will be more proactive uh, in dealing with your credit situation in order to get a loan. There's a lot of great opportunity out there to buy houses right now, low rates, low home values. So I would encourage everyone to go out to annualcreditreport.com and pull your credit report and get a handle at least on what you want to do. There is one more caveat in there. Um, if you have a collection and you are making payments on it to resolve it, it doesn't have to be paid in full, but you do need three months of payment history in order to result, uh, to, uh, for HUD to accept that. Again, the problem is if you have an old collection that you haven't touched in a long time and you start making payments on it, okay, now you've brought that back up till today. So I would almost tell you not to set that kind of an option up unless you had no other choice. Uh, that's going to be the worst option for you. All right, so that's Dave Sullivan here for The Credit Guy TV. So you, with a little bit of me, we're going to change the credit industry. Thank you.